It's time for Wacky World Studios Sketching with Steven, featuring art director Steven Walker. Hey there, Wacky World friends. So glad to have you back for another episode of Sketching with Steven. This time I have a special guest on my show. I brought in my, my own pet bird from home. This is Mango. Everyone meet Mango. She's a sun conure and she's, she's a little baby. She's only six months old. And um, as you can see, she loves to play. She's got lots of little toys here. Very colorful birds, sun conures, that come from South America. So I thought it would be fun to teach you how to draw a sun conure. So just like all of our Wacky World characters, we draw inspiration from life. So we actually look at real animals, real life animals, and then we take some of those features that you see in those animals and we incorporate them into our own characters. So you'll see all different kinds of parrots here. You've got some macaws, there's some scarlet macaws as well as some blue and gold ones. Um, but here is our cute little conure, and this is the sun conure. So, to draw a sun conure, you gotta loosen up, okay? So flap those wings, all right? Get those arms nice and loose, all right? Our shoulder is a ball joint, so we wanna get a nice round curve when we draw. I know you're watching me flap my wings. Can you flap your wings? Can you flap? <laughs> Okay, now that we're nice and loose, we're gonna go ahead and start with a circle shape, just like all of our other wacky characters, okay? And we'll put that circle right in the center of our page. It'll be about the size of an orange. Right in the center there, just go round and round. Parrots love fruit, so an orange is a perfect shape to start with. So once you have your nice round circle on there, we're gonna put some guidelines on that circle. We'll do one top to bottom, curving over towards the right side of the page. It sort of looks like a crescent moon. And then we're gonna do another guideline going left to right. This one's actually gonna to curve towards the top of your page. There we go, there's our next guideline. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is draw in a another guideline for the beak shape. The beak shape is a nice round oval outside your circle over here. So we're gonna go around and around, nice and loose at first. So this is again, just the guideline to get that beak. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some more details to that beak shape. So the first thing we're gonna do is add her nose, okay? And she does have little nostrils there. And that nose is just gonna be a little bump that sits right on top of that beak shape. It's gonna curve down, almost like a letter C. That's her nose. So then from the nose there, where we ended, we're gonna do an S curve, okay? And this is gonna curve off one side of the beak and over to the other side of the beak. It's a nice big S curve. Almost looks like a letter S if you just pulled it apart took the two ends and stretched them out. There we go. Okay, and conures are hook bills. They're hook bill parrots. So that means that it's gonna come to a nice little point right here at the end, okay? So the top part of that oval that we drew is actually the top of her beak. So we'll just go ahead and make those lines a little bit more defined. I'm just gonna go right back over them. Okay, and then for her mouth, the bottom part of your oval here is actually just gonna become her mouth. So you'll darken that in too. There you go, you got a nice thick beak there so she can crack open all those nuts. Okay. Now one interesting thing about a sun conure is their beaks are actually black. So we're gonna go ahead and shade in that beak. You can just kind of scribble it back and forth. It doesn't have to be perfectly black. Just kind of go back and forth, scribble it in. Mango's getting food all over my drawing. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, and then we'll shade in the bottom mouth part too. Make sure you don't forget that. Okay, and there's her nice big beak there. 
Okay, now Mango is a is a very happy parrot, so we're gonna draw a very happy smile line here coming off the nose shape, and that's gonna curve, kind of follow your guideline here, and we'll go about halfway across that circle there. have a little curve at the end if you want. It's that nice cheek that she's pushing up because she's so happy. Okay, and then we're going to do another line just below that. It's kind of the top of her smile. Okay, now most birds have a ring around their eyes. So um, Mango has a, a little orange ring around her eyes, but many parrots have, have a white ring. And if you look at Again, some of our parrots here, you'll see that, that mask shape, that color separation. So to create that, we're gonna draw a nice big egg shape that sits right on top of the cheek. It'll curve all the way up, almost to the top of your circle. And that's gonna end over there by that nose. Now, inside that shape, if you wanna go ahead, we can draw her eye shape. Her eye is just a little oval inside there. Just like with most of our characters, if you make the, the top of the line a little thicker, it sort of looks like an eyelid. Okay, and then inside that, we can go ahead and draw two circles for the pupils, and if you want to shade one of those in, you can, and leave a highlight. There we go. There's our little eye shape there. Okay, and then up here at the top of that mask shape, we're going to draw a little eyebrow. She does have little eyebrows, at least on the cartoon version of Mango. <laughs> so we'll draw a little teardrop shape, and we're going to shade that in too. It just makes her a little bit more expressive. You can also add, if you want, a little wrinkle around the eye, a little lid there. Maybe on her nose we'll give her a little nostril too. Just these little tiny details there. Okay, so on the side of her face here, we're going to just draw a little cheek coming off the side. It's a little c shape. Her head is in a perfect circle, so we just need to add a little bit to it to create the, the cheek. Okay, and then we can go over our lines when we're happy with them. Make them a little bit more permanent. Okay, and then we'll do her neck next. Okay, and her neck is going to curve down from that cheek shape that you just drew, a little curved line there. And then off of her beak, we're going to do another S shape that'll curve down and then back out to create that neck. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little bit of her wings in, um, just so you can see a little bit more of that wings and shape and the feathers. Okay, and to create the wing shape, we're going to do a nice letter J that kind of comes off of that neck that we just and it'll just kind of go down to the bottom of your page. There's the top of her wing. Now her wings are going to have all the feathers on them, and her feathers are going to look like little letter J's, okay? Little J shapes or hooks. Um, and you could kind of have fun with those. You could put them wherever you like. So we're going to do a couple of J shape hooks on that feather, maybe maybe two of them are touching. You can have a couple of them touching like that. And then you have a couple coming down from that. And this will help create some of those feathers there. Okay, and then I'm gonna just draw a curved line to finish off the wing. I'm gonna just have it come up from the bottom here. It almost connects to the shoulder, but not, not quite. It stops right before it connects. And then between the two of those lines, we're gonna have the back, her, that's her back there. And that'll just be a curved line that kind of arches over her wing. Okay, Miss Mango, so now we're gonna draw your little feathers on your chest. Mango's molting right now, so she's 
got some new feathers growing in there. Um, so that, you know, she's got a lot of little fluffy feathers right there. You might see coming in brand new. You've shown them your pretty wing. <laughs> there you go. She's such a good girl. Okay, so for the, the little tuft of feathers on the front there, we're going to... <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> okay, so for the little tuft of feathers on the front there, we're going to do another U-shape. It's going to curve off the wing and up to the other side of the neck and then back down. So another letter U, create that tuft of feathers. Okay, and just like with the wing, we can add a couple of J shapes to add some little tufts there, a couple little hooks there. Maybe another hint of the other wing. It's going to come off of the, the chest there and it's going to curve off to the side. So another J shape and that's the other, other wing sticking out. Okay, maybe another feather right there on that wing you can draw. Okay, and there you go. There's our cute little wacky sun conure. Um, now, one thing about sun conures, as you can see, is they're very colorful. Um, they have all different kinds of colors in there. They look just like a sunset. They have the yellows, the oranges, deep reds, and then of course they have the green wings and even little blue in the tail. So lots of really, really bright, vibrant colors in there. So if you guys want, you can always color your drawing afterwards. And so I just took a couple Sharpies and I colored an earlier drawing. So, you know, just as an example, but use your favorite. You can use colored pencil, you can use crayons, whatever you prefer, you can, you can even paint it if you want. Um, but be creative, have fun, and of course, when you're finished with your drawing, make sure to go ahead and sign it. So put your name on there and take credit for your artwork. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Sketching with Steven. Thank you again so much. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed meeting Mango and drawing a sun conure with me. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, please let us know. We're so excited to share these characters with you and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. So please let us know, um, send us your drawings. We'd love to see them and uh, have a great day. Thank you again. Quack, <laughs> quack.